did you ever think that you would get to this point? Never. <laughs> I didn't even think I'd be able to do something like this, like come onto television to tell people my story. Before the course, I was just too afraid to speak to anyone that I had a stammer. I thought that that was it, that was my life, but people need to realise that is not the person you need to be, there is help. Your coach, uh, Lisa, is here, alongside your very proud <laughs> mum, who's in tears now, <laughs> having um, watched that. Let's speak to your mum first. Debbie, how difficult has it been for you watching Jess struggle to find her voice and now look at her? Very frustrating, yeah. very frustrating, because she was the pull her hair, punch herself with frustration mm. and she wouldn't do a lot of things. Mm. We always had to do phone calls for her. Lisa, how hard has she worked? You've been her coach. Oh, extremely hard. She's, she's turned so many cons into cans, mm. which people will see on the documentary. She has been so inspiring even to me mm. and it's been such a moving experience to see her go from that, what everyone sees there, to what she manages to do at the end is... Lisa, what rock. cause is it? It can be a number of different factors. Some people are born with it. There can be some siblings that it can be hereditary. Accidents, so in my mm. case, just something that happens in childhood. And Debbie, Jessica, Jess didn't speak till she was four years no. old, did she? She found it really hard in nursery. She used to just make a lot of noise. They knew what she wanted by making a lot of noise. <laughs> She's going to make a lot more now. 